Radio Shouty. What was y'all favorite time in the game then? My favorite time in the game? Oh, man. It's when, uh, damn. I, can say, I enjoyed that moment too. I can say, dude, the, the <laughs> most I that special. Moment too. <laughs> what moment, dog? <laughs> what? We were doing 106 in Park. Shout was locked up. Uh-huh. He called me. This nigga called him right before we ran out with JD. He was locked up, remember? Yeah. And he called me on the in, in the dome. This nigga got the whole dome around. This is what he said to me. He like, what y'all doing, bro? What y'all doing? I like, shit, bro. We in the back of one of the park. We finna get ready to run out. He like, man, y'all crank that bitch up. That nigga got off the phone and went and stood on the table and told the dome that, oh boy, them niggas finna go on one of the park bro, and made an uproar at the jail. <laughs> and that's the same day I stood on the goddamn sofa on one of the park and pulled out that money. And Jim Jones called T L and Ida and said, did you tell Jizzle I did it first? <laughs> 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 hey, I got two. I got two moments. I got one in New York City. I mm. think this the biggest crowd we did. Um, Summer Jam, New York. Mm. Mm. Um, what it was? Giant Stadium, sold out. You can't even see. It's just like the video game, bro. You can't even see their faces. <laughs> you just see that. Sh- you know what I'm saying? Then my second moment is when when Polly got caught. Um, when he got charged with murder, right? Mm-hmm. We had to go to the Bahamas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I say, probably had dread, probably long in yours. Yeah. When I say he walked up to me, had the motherfucker talked to the hat, <laughs> looking just like this. What's up, Pip? Damn, nigga. Oh, probably. He didn't know who the hell that nigga was. Hell no. He tried to disguise. Come on, bro. Hurry up. Let go, bro. Let go on to the gate, bro. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They were looking for him. Hey, i never forget that yeah, right there, bro. They were looking for him, then. We had yeah. fun at um, the Bahamas, yeah, too. The Bahamas were lit. The Bahamas were definitely lit. That was the Bahamas with Jamaica. That was Bahamas. That was Bahamas. That, was Bahamas. that was Jamaica home. We had an accident. I remember Anchor up and all this stuff. Did that in third. Yeah. We yeah. had a car accident, too, in Jamaica. Yeah. Oh, yeah. man. <laughs> we didn't have some moments, bro. Straight yeah. up. Lay. When you dealing with these polices at that time and you on top of your game at the same time, what the hell was going through your mind? I was untouchable. He didn't care. <laughs> he I, didn't care. Being, he didn't being, care. Being totally honest then, huh? He did not care. I was untouchable. I mean, when you with this shit and you got some money, what's somebody going to tell you? Mm-hmm. You could pay for it, you fuck them up. They say what it was. You see what I'm saying? So <laughs> if anybody opposed it, then... I mean, my nigga roll. Mm-hmm. And if it was a situation where it needed to be money spent, it was money spent. I, I couldn't do no wrong. Mm-hmm. I, man, right, actually, be high, I really wasn't even thinking. I was just living in the moment. If, dog, I, my our whole, our whole career, bro, I was just in the moment. Mm. Literally. I really, like, I really didn't, I'm not going to say I didn't care, but I really didn't care. I don't know how to explain it. You I was just care. doing what I wanted to do. Yeah. Nah, any point fact. of the day, any moment of the day, any time of the day, if that's what I want to do, that's what I want to do. If I did what I want to say, that's what I want to say. If I don't like you, I don't like, I like Iowa Chess. I concur. I was straight, straight to the point. I didn't play no game. I didn't play with you. But at the same time, I'm the coolest nigga, the most funnest nigga to be around. I was just living in the moment. I just like to look it out for my niggas. I like, I like showing love. I like seeing everybody win. I like seeing everybody happy. So I just, my whole career, I just did that from the industry to the streets. Well, I should say from my, from our group to the streets. Long as I can get out, my partner got down, he ain't getting, he ain't getting put out because he rent late. The paper, baby need pampers. I could do this for this person. I could send some money down the road. I was cool. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's fast, bro. I could, I could, I could vouch for that because I, I, I used to have to walk through Born Home. I'm from Temp now. Mm-hmm. I used to walk through Born Home to find this nigga, bro. <laughs> hey, y'all, y'all seen Palate? Nigga, who the fuck Palate? Oh, he talking about poo, bro. Yeah. Oh, I told, I told B how this in my interview. Ugh. They used to swap us out. <laughs> he be at the temple. I be in Born Home. Nigga, I remember Swall you to tell me. I said, well, Swall, Swall you to say, well, just I guess we got you for today. <laughs> I swear, that was why you, I swear you you wouldn't be nowhere to be found in Born Home. You'll be in the tent, and they couldn't find me in the tent. I'm in Born Home. Ready I told you that in my interview. Then to be high. Yeah, Jesus. yeah. I told you that they, it was for real. Hip partners are telling me, "Well, we got you for the day." Then because they can't yeah. find him. But it should be like that. Like when we first started, when we first started in college, and we were doing our music thing. I ended up in college by default. Mm-hmm. 
I want the college to sell weed. <laughs> Literally. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really want to sell weed. And the whole time I was in college, I sold weed. So when I got kicked out of college, well, but Pimp didn't come back in the second semester of our freshman year. I told you that, too. You know I said, them niggas got some trouble and they ain't go back. Didn't I tell you that? That's what he <laughs> got. That was him and Jizzle got a chance to really link up and get them, get it get it to roll because we got it rolling now. Then, I, second semester of my sophomore year, first semester of my sophomore year, I got kicked out. Second semester, well, Buddy was a junior. But second semester, his junior year, which is my sophomore year, Buddy came home. Mm-hmm. So all of us ended up home. But when I came home, I started selling two sacks for $5. Mm. Two nicks for $5. I'm the first nigga in the city of Atlanta with doing this shit. Now, and when I say that, I mean, like, I got a two for five trap. I'm mm-hmm. not talking about this is just a deal I'm working at this time <laughs> with this pack. I'm talking about every fucking day you wake your ass up, you come over here, you get two sacks for $5. First nigga in the city to do that shit. And I had everything fucked up, bro. I was probably making five thousand dollars a day profit in sex. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So when we start doing the shows and shit, like we first doing shows, our first show start paying, get paid fifteen hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. Like four of us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we, we make up that like three seventy five. Mm-hmm. But I'm not going no show. That motherfucker rolling. <laughs> but a nigga come up. But I'm going. Hell yeah, come on. Mm-hmm. They'll pull up. Hey, I come, bro. I'm going to go put this shit up. He done went in the front door door and went out the goddamn back door door and can't find him. And he done start answering the goddamn phone. Okay, so now what the hell was y'all thinking when Barley started pulling this shit? No, they started. We knew, but we knew. (laughs) They started walking me in the spotlight. Come on, we're going to walk in here with your ass. Yeah, Yeah, we knew what he was doing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I say, like. You got to stay with his ass, goddamn. He in the trap. Come on, bro. This shit was shit. Yeah, come on. Nah, man. It was authentic, dog. Like, this shit was authentic, man. Like, Everything, everything we did, the way we came about, the way it happened, the way we got the um the support from the streets, the way we got the support from the hood, all this shit was authentic and it was organic mm-hmm. because the things that we did at the time had not never been done. You got to understand, we came out in a time where Alan Temple niggas don't fuck with Born Home. Born Home don't fuck with Bankhead Court. Bankhead Court don't fuck with Hollywood. Hollywood Court. Hollywood Court don't fuck with Perry Home. Perry Home don't fuck with Flipper Temple. Yeah. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. It was all Bankhead like- don't fuck with Simpson. Like, niggas didn't fuck with each other. But bro. I was able to go trap in all of them goddamn hoods. All of them to this goddamn day. I be on Simpson. I Everywhere. It was nowhere that I wasn't it. And the music, and I think the music really is what connected, connected everybody and brought yeah. everybody together because yeah. seeing the possibility of damn I see these niggas every day these niggas just made it mm-hmm. well, I can make it too oh you doing music hey let's do a song together and that started okay we got a song together so I'm finna come to your hood mm-hmm. and I'm finna go to your hood and it really started up some shit that people didn't really just look at like that dog mm-hmm. right, right. we really like that's why I say that's why I keep saying it was really organic mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying and, 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 until I had the whole thing happen